Welcome back to Exposing the Dirty Few. <laughs> um, start off with the scary word, scary music from last video. Uh, Satan rules. Can you believe Satan rules equals 33? And I sometimes call this hell, earth. That's really funny. Hilarious. Um, but it's going to be all good if you just follow the rules. So Satan equals the, and the equals 33. Some even people call him the devil. And where's he from? He's from the pit. 2-7 is 33, and 33 is 33. All right, why am I talking about that? We're just going to go back to this for a second because it was pointed out in a comment, an excellent comment. Then I had another look at this and I went, oh, look at that. Three, six. So what's the three sixes? Like six, 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 it's a snake. Oh my goodness gracious me. They're sneaky. Or they are just the snakes. Funny, funny, funny. Um, what have we got here? Oh, it's the three sixes. <laughs> That's tops. All right. What else have we got? Uh, William Greer. I watched a video. Um, I'm not going to put the clip in, but it looked like William Greer, who was the driver. This dude here who's driving. In in frame three one three one zero or three one three of the uh, infamous tape, it looks like he brings his left hand over, has a gun, and shoots President Kennedy in the head. Um, I looked at it and went, "That's the sun shining off his brill cream," and uh, the uploader was very adamant or brew cream theory and then i watched another video which actually shows that it wasn't him shooting him so what he's suffering from is pareidolia psychological effect of observing human faces in inanimate objects i think it's just seeing what you want to see and uh to my surprise shock and horror pareidolia equals 33 so that was quite funny I wonder if this has got anything in it sorry sorry I try and be quicker than the last one I know it was a long one 229263 well it has well effectively it's a lie in the vowels or the fowls as I like to call them all right that's cracks me up okay released this is to do with the Shemitah. And this is a comment that I left on uh, Waters Above Crypto's channel. Um, I know you don't agree with full sentences being the correct way to use numerology, but this may give you reconsider. He was talking about the 10th prime number. 10th prime number is 29, which equals 144 in Pythag. He says that that's got something to do with Sagittarius, which is 144 in ordinal. Tenth prime number is 29, is 66 in Pythagorean. Tenth prime number is 29, is 99. And it's 133 in Pythagorean. And we all know about 133 in Pythagorean. Tenth prime is 29, is 77. Number 77 is 77. The seven year Shmita is 77. Shmita is 23, which is to do with people. And 33 in Pythagorean. 23 and 23 and me is trying to blah 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 mum and dad 20, 33 people persons you saying this but the harvesting the harvesting is 66 in Pythagorean and that's what Shemitah is it's about a, a a crop rotation and released is 33 and Shemitah means release commerce Mooney of course um Now, this one here, Han Hanukkah, 
is 7,777 days since that big day in 2001 on the 26th which is the last day uh, 7 6 is 33 and day 7 7 7 6 is 33 in Chaldean I found that rather amusing uh, this gentleman here replied reminds me of Elon's tweet where he's some Viagra and guns uh, he uses reverse extended uh, revelations 13 13 7 7 7 7 um, he's talking about tax, tax loss harvesting and things like that um, so I just replied with four coke cans equals 33 in Chaldean and fake guns equals 33 in Chaldean. Oh, Elon. Elon, you're a little funny. Leon scum. Um, so I found that amusing. So that's what released was. And that was the harvesting. So, um, and you use a psych sickle or reaper. I'm sure I'm sure something in here um, Grim yep the brothers Grim and if you go Grim Reaper the Grim Reaper I can't remember what it was anyway um, I might remember it later on. So I found that interesting. Um, the reason why, um, say a saying like this, reap what you sow, is according to Jason from Archaics, it, we're in the vapor canopy, there was no need to harvest. There was no need to plant crops because everything grew to astonishing sizes, which is what he says. So the seven year Shemitah of of working the land for six years, letting it rest for one, only came in when we went from a matriarchal society to a patriarchal society, when the vapor canopy fell, which effectively is the flood that flooded the earth. Because the it was a much, everything grew much, much bigger. So you never needed to have a harvest because you'd walk up and there'd be fruit and stuff everywhere and you'd only need one orange to fill, feed an entire family. So the the Shemitah is I think the now the the uh, process they do after we actually now see the sun and it's not hidden behind a violet uh, moisture canopy. So sayings like, "Oops, you reap what you sow," are coined phrases or whatever. I can never remember what that word was. Um, so seven six is thirty three. And oh, come on, what is it? Maybe it's you reap. Can't remember what it was, but for some reason, there was there. Um, oh, that's right, down here to reap what you sow to gather a crop, to gather a crop is 66. Remember, it's in inverted commas. See my video on inverted commas. And to plant, get in there, to plant seeds is to plant the seeds. So you throw a 33 in there and you get a 66. And by the way, the word seed is 33 in simple which is 15 so you got uh, s is the 19th you got 10 for the double e and you got the d which is four so seed and bird is also 33 so bird seed is 66 <laughs> isn't that lovely um so i found that amusing um and what they were talking about before with the tax law well the tax law wikipedia <clears throat> when they promised us it would only be, well in Australia, we're only going to charge this tax until the war's over. And then they kept it going. It's very taxing, isn't it? So I found that interesting. Um, to gather a crop. Didn't I just do that? To gather a crop? Maybe I didn't. 
to gather 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 a crop is sixty six two. So basically, I'm saying that we never used to have to do that, and until that deal was made three thousand three hundred and thirty three years ago from twenty twenty one, which is when a rather popular rabbi says that Moses met got his uh, Ten Commandments. On Mount Sin AI, Sin is the name for the moon, AI is artificial intelligence, I won't go into that anymore. Um, that's when it all starting. The tripling, I've heard of these triple demics and all that sort of stuff, but there's actually a movie called The Tripling, which is a Hindi version. And Hindi versions, I guess, are uh, Indian, aren't they? Yes, they are. Well, the... Tripling is 66. That's crazy. So once again, you add a V, which is a 33 to something, and you get a 66. Crazy. I think I actually covered that in this. Okay, this is um, a mission patch. I was watching Daniel Alexander from Logic Before Authority. And he was talking about the mission patches. So if we just go to images here, this is the image of the mission patch. And he was talking about how this is the white horse and this is the red horse and the red background and it's uh, that's their little logo uh, motto. Our time has come. The sixty-six. Unbelievable on the mission patch. Um. Yeah, so good old NASA, which uh, I've said this before, but if you, um, when they count down from 10, it's T minus. So it's NASA when they count down, and once it leaves the ground, it's T plus. So you just add the T into there, and you get Satan because Satan rules the air. It's may take off, so it goes from NASA to Satan. Um, uh, so this is the end. Oh, that's it. Go and chase a bird, mate. Um, this is Enroll 129, which is the name of the rocket or something. I don't really care. Um, it's satellites operated by the United States National Reconnaissance Office. Such big, such big words. And that's a 166 because they can't help themselves. Well, they can, but... And of course, as I showed, Grumman is 33 as well. Um, and apparently it's a Minotaur 4, which is the name of the rocket. Minotaur 4, but what if there's lots of Minotaurd? <laughs> What's there's lots of Minotaurs? It always has to do with stuff that was around before. Um, that'll do for that one. Um, the calm before the storm. Okay. Inverted commas. We'll grab it out here. We'll paste that in. It's an 88. 88 miles per hour. 33 vowels. Um, but if we just get rid of the calm... We put before in there, so it's the calm 33, the storm. Ay, ay, ay. Um, oh, there's that confirmation of the, uh, the date, 7,777 days. Almost as good as if we go, we'll just go backwards from here. Well, while we're here, we'll keep just keep that same first date in there. We'll go 12-12-2019 which was when the first case of was found, and that's 6,666 days. <laughs> and you know what it was called? It was a full moon on 12, which is 3, 12, which is 3, December 2019, 2 and 1 is 3, plus 9 is 12, 12, which is 3, so it's a 333 date. Um, the first case, it was called a cold moon on a full moon, because that's how they roll. 
it's also uh, I think it's 666 years before 2019 or 20 for when the Black Plague came through I got a video on that the cryptocurrency okay let's grab this and we'll do that and we'll put the cryptocurrency is 66 and it's a 93 as well so do what thou wilt speaking of cryptocurrency there's the bearable bull here and i got this aggressively average content for you today <coughs> excuse me add the fifth add the to 52 in chaldean so whenever you get a word that adds to 52 in chaldean you can add the to it and it adds to 66 it happens every time because you just add the add the the and it equals a 911 which is interesting and we'll get to 911 in a second again and if you get a total of 51 in Pythagorean and you add the to it you get a 66 as well so I wonder what this I can't even remember what this is <laughs> uh, so you add the to 51 in Pythagorean and you get an inverted 51 or 15 which is 33 like drop it um, 150 in Pythagorean okay because we just saw that didn't we because it adds to 150 so let's see what this does 150 in Pythagorean equals 166 and look it's 51 and it's 51 stop it they might be a bit of a stretch but we're just having a little bit of fun who cares 14 is 7 plus 7 well does anyone want to disagree with yet uh, can I get to my thank you 14 is 7 plus 7 because they love the sevens it's 114 so if you add you into it you get the 14 once again might be a bit of a stretch but we're having some fun um, this is oh undo come back number 116 is an inverted 911 911 can be used as a universal number ambulance credit card locking call 116 116 so basically yes it can be an inverted 111 oh don't tell me this adds to something select all no I just want to copy it please let's see what it says Maybe it says something. It probably does. I write this stuff down and I completely forget about it. It's a 99. Of course it's a 99. Because 99 is an inverted 66. I should really throw the meme in here, but we'll just do it anyway. Someone call 9 1 1. And that's a 66 as well. How much is that into the... Uh, English vernacular or vernacular I don't even like English um, okay this is uh, about Freemasonry and their and their mottos stonemason fraternities is there anything in there let's just take a look it's 99 the stonemason fraternities or if we take out stonemason you get three sixes but it's actually just a fraternity, which is a 55, which is a double E backwards, which is 33, or you can just go with the 33 if you like that. Um, but it gets you better. Um, so this is there. Inscribed in the folds of the flag of masonry, of course masonry equals 33, is the noble motto, motto liberty, equality, fraternity, so 33 is in there, Masonry preaches peace among men and in the name of humanity proclaims the invi inviability of human life. 
I looked up in viability. Apparently, it means sacred and all this sort of stuff. But um, if something's inviable, doesn't that mean it's not viable? Well, you get a four thirty three, and the sent the full stop finishes after all those all those capitals, and we get rid of that, and you get a three 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 starting off with a 333 a 33 word and a 23 so 23 and 23 is me so I found that interesting um, now this is a Masonic Wikipedia and we've got three great M emblematical lights great emblematical because they love their emblems their signs and symbols there you go 66 and you can if you want to go for ruler Colel, the great emblematical life and if you want to count yourself in there that makes 66 I do have quite a few new subscribers it's just quite gone off just in case you guys don't know welcome thanks for coming the rule of Colel is a mason code where you can add one or minus one including yourself or excluding yourself in and out of the situation so it's 66 don't need it for that one but it's a 67 so if you take yourself out it's a 66 as well and I think it's in includes if, if one includes oneself in it I guess um, I don't think exclude is no it doesn't but um yeah includes and that's a very very interesting word I did a full video on includes um, talks about the devil promising things in here and you got your three and your three sixes and your all the fun stuff and it's in Salem and oh it's just wonderful isn't it they call themselves compasses a little bit more on this one um oh circumscribe our desires and keep our passions blah 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 that's their motto as well now if we get circumscribe our desires and do that now see here it says in brackets or sometimes within so brackets mean means it needs to be removed from the page so or sometimes within we get rid of that sometimes and then all goes and you get a 330 233 consonants and van 77 unbelievable is it not um, and of course humankind is 33 as well so I found that interesting um, <clears throat> there was something there as well just hang on because this is interesting uh, this is where we were before just on the other page but I noticed this up the top here uh, March 31st 2017 this pin was discovered by Alexander Majewski really Really, Alexander? It's to do with Freemasonry. Okay. Well, if I had a D to his name, the Alexander Majeski would be 66 in Chaldean. But we can just go with a 66 in Pythagorean. So, and he's to do with... Uh, discover your own pins at Pinterest. Get rid of that one. Because it's never-ending lies. Um, one of my subscribers left a comment and he said I wouldn't be surprised if this adds the 33 I just did that it's never ending lies and uh, he inspired another 66 why are they all bad words lies it's just the way it rolls just how they it's just how they want it um, love like your life depends on it Okay, and if we go, your life is 33, 
So love like 33 depends on it. But of course, love is an anagram of evil. Or you can just write evil love. So evil like your life depends on it. It's almost like there's one group in the world that wants to continue to do as much harm and as bad as they possibly can to force their uh, their return of their saviour. <clears throat> that is written and documented. Saviour. Save yourself. What do you need to be saved from? You're not in any mortal danger. Saviour who was crucified. Or you can say that we are the crucified. But anyway, um, but <laughs> trust me, the word uh, that reincarnation was swapped with resurrection. But anyway, let's move along. Oh, we've only got two to go. We might get it under half an hour today. It's a matter of life and death. Is anything really a matter of life and death? Ever? Or is it just a Hallmark holiday cooked up to sell cars to put into movies? A matter of life and death. Oh, it's, it's a matter of life and death. That's a good lesson to learn. That's not a matter of life and death. Basically. <laughs> Basically, because nothing matters. Alright, down to the last one. I won't bother with the scary music today. Because, um, even in odd numbers. <laughs> Actually, I will have a scary music today, and it will be, um, it'll be uh, compliments of Zachary Hubbard. Even odd. Because it's all letters and numbers. First thing, last thing before we go, uh, ampersand. You know, ampersand, one of my subscribers gave me that, that was brilliant, that little... Whatever that thing is, however it's written, that's an ampersand, which is end. Um, but as Zachary says, it's all his numbers and letters, or letters and numbers, I think his book was, and he's got an ampersand in the middle. And he said it's the first time he's coded anything into a title. And I believe him. I like him. Anyway, um, take care of yourselves. We're a day early today. Have a fun day tomorrow, whatever you're doing. And um, I'll catch you all in about three or four weeks, because I'm going on holidays. All right. Love yous all. Cue the scary music. Well, there's something you don't see every day. These people are bad people. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Never say anything bad about the few. Alrighty then. Freemasons run the country! I'd call that a big yes. Especially in the New World Order. I'm not, not a joke. Execute. Order. 66. What the probability of them using our own language against us? It's high. It's very high. But here's one more critical component. I found a code hidden deep inside our own language system. Oh, oh, they, they're using our own language against us. And the clock is ticking. <laughs>